What's up, beautiful people? Today we got a good one. And this one is called, you already know by the title, she literally gave y'all the secret to the games women play. You know, this is from Infinite infinite colorized so if you guys having i'll put the link in the comments so you guys can check out the video the original video itself and check out his channel greatly appreciate it so uh with further ado man we're gonna get into this one because i'm very i'm very excited about this she literally just exposes the psychology of females when dealing with guys and okay. then apologize to females for, give, for giving out the secrets all right so let's just, just listen to her bro you know what i'm saying I mean, you can apologize if you just give the secrets and just let everybody know because at that time you're just giving away the secrets. He can't, he can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah. Y'all was so mad at me, so mm. I guess I'm gonna help y'all out. All right. So, if you want the girl to fall in love with you, here's how. Step okay. one: you gonna go and touch her in like the right places. It's not um, I'm gonna touch your titties, I'm gonna touch your ass. Just ask no. Okay. You see, you're talking to her. She's chilling, good vibes, and you're just gonna put her hair behind her ear. It's mm. so small, and it's like, oh my god, did he just? <laughs> or like. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, that fellas. You know, step one, just put her hair behind her ears. <laughs> so simple. All right. Number two, y'all talking. You're this close and you look at her in her eyes and you can kiss her but you're not going to you are just gonna have like a little self-control like she's gonna be like she's gonna be thinking like why doesn't he kiss me why does he want like it's the little tiny things that make her fall in love Ooh, okay all right so pretty much teasing that's what it's coming down to it's teasing you know it's a back and forth you know pull pull and pull tug and pull thing you know that's kind of teasing teaseful and playful playfulness that's what she she's meaning by that you're gonna text her like i'm 20 minutes away we're going to target or we're going to the gym or whatever that way you don't have to spend a dime and it's super friendly but it fucks with her mind it's, does he fuck with me does he not like he likes spending time with me but like we're not going on a real date it's like what is this but i guarantee you she gonna love it and number three Say y'all about to go somewhere for real, for real. And she does her makeup. It's evident she got makeup on. You compliment a little thing like, I like your eyebrows, or I like your lip liner, or is that blush? It's something so small, but it's like, he sees me, he sees. Cause I know y'all be like, oh, you look better with no makeup, shut the fuck up. We don't care about that. That is true though, that is true, that is true. So anytime you do, do give compliments, right every time just talk about the little thing that is true that is facts um yes you can say yes you look better with no makeup and stuff but sometimes it's never good because they spend time and hours and doing the makeup so you at least you compliment them on the makeup that's something is really nice that that little thing goes a long way we did our makeup we don't need to hear you going okay let me not go on a tangent either way just compliment something and okay. lastly, this is where the toxic comes in. I know I was doing healthy, I was doing so well. Okay. But, you know, I was toxic in the last video. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Y'all out, club, kickback, whatever. You go tell her, we gonna take one more shot and we out of here. She gonna be like, huh? She gonna have to tell her little friend, sorry girl, I gotta go. He calling me, he calling me, okay. But when you get to the car, Ooh. You playing some good music, like a little something sexy. I was and I was and I was. And when you get to crib, she gonna be thinking, what's up? What's the word? And you gonna put the 2K on. You gonna put that game on. You gonna put that game on. She not gonna know what to do. Like at that point, she gonna be like, yo, you invited me over here and you playing a game. We're not gonna do nothing. At that point, she's begging for it. She. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Facts. I've done it. I used to do it. I've done it. I've done it. It happens. All right? It happens. That is so true. It's it's weird. It's so weird. It's so little, but yet yeah, I've done it. That's so interesting. That got me dying right there. She is spitting facts. 
wants it. You don't have to do nothing. You're gonna be like, oh, if you wanna do something else, we can. But like, she really, you working part time, she doing a whole motherfucking job, I nigga. Now, all the things she's saying may sound like a little weird or confusing to yeah. a lot of dudes and stuff like that. But I always talk about on my channel how women love emotional variety. That's why they don't like these simps. She just literally explained how when a dude does certain things yep. uh, good and not so good. Basically, give her with her what she wants and not giving her, her what she wants. Yes. Emotional variety. Yes. Women are more attracted to a man that gives her emotional variety. Not that simp stuff. Not a man who's just going to do what she wants all the time. That's boring to her. You know what I'm saying? When you can... When you can give her what she wants, and then sometimes you can push her buttons. For some reason, that does something to them mentally, bro. I don't yeah. know why they they like that. That's how they are, but that's just how they are. Uh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Well, watch this. This really going to probably frustrate you right here. No, no, no. Seriously, it's just true, though. It's like, it's a ever longing and game. Like I said, tug and pull, you know, you, you, you. You pull a little, you release a little. You pull a little, you release a little. It's an over, everlasting thing of, uh, if a, it's a cat and mouse game, you know? And it's crazy how weird it is because like, I was a kid, like I learned this in college and I ran with it so much. I ran with it. It was, yeah, let me not say too much, but it was, let's just say it worked. It worked. It did work. Before I go on, she literally just gave y'all the secrets, guys. Everything I've been saying, she be giving. She just gave y'all the secrets. She said if you, if you take, if you have a girl, you say, hey, let's go back to the crib, and she think that you trying to do something, and you literally just turn on the video game, and start playing a video game. Yep. She's like, dang, you actually did all this, and then you didn't even want to do. It's gonna make her fiend for you. And even when she's fiending for you, I would suggest yep. that, that at that moment, don't give her what she wants. Just like, nah, I'm good. Unless you really, really fiending for it, then you give it to her. You know what I'm saying? But uh. It's for married folk, I get. It's for married folk. So one thing I love to do more than anything in the world is to make a man feel less than. You got a crush, that ego. So she said the one thing she likes to do more than anything is make the man feel less than. If you yes. didn't hear what she said, I yeah. know she got like a little, yeah. little accent. So one thing I Listen love to what she's saying. Listen to what she's saying. Anything in the world Watch. is to make a man feel less than. Yes. You got a crush, that ego. So whenever I'm around him, I sniff the air, especially if I'm in his room or like I'm in his car, and I say, what is that smell? And that just looks so disgusting. And he's like, I don't know, like, I didn't fart nothing. And you just say, never mind. Every time, every time, he'll never feel like he smells good. The games <laughs> they play. Me. That is so true. That has happened to me, bro. That messed with me. I, the next day, because I love to, like, detail cars and stuff like that. I went in my car and, like, I, 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 I detailed the heck out of it. Sprayed nicely down everything, you know. And then the next time we hung out, I, I was showered. I put on a good perfume and everything. Entered the car. Still said something like that to me. Still. And I was like, nah, man, you got to be playing with me. You gotta be playing with me. And I figure out that she's playing with me. And I understand that. I was like, yeah, peep game, bro. That, it does happen. It's weird, but it does happen. You change his phone name and your phone as Little Man. It doesn't matter if he's Ooh. six, 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 seven. His name is Little Man. Ooh, with yes. like the standing emoji too, like, you know? And I also love to go and like grab niggas' titties and their ass. Not just their ass, their titties and their ass. That way they feel like the baddest bitch in the room at all times. And lastly, mm. this is the kicker. <clears throat> You compliment, after y'all do whatever y'all do, you compliment, you know, the experience and say, I'm just so happy it's not big. Because sometimes when it's big, it hurts. And I like getting fingered more anyways, you know? It feels more pleasurable, more personal when it's smaller. Wow. Wow. She is going in on this. She's not holding back. She is not holding back in none of this. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I think especially the ones who are actually very, very attractive. 
It's those type of women is the reason why all why relationships don't really work. It's because women, a lot of women have mindsets just like yes. that, bro. So many women have yes, mindsets just like yes. that. They like to play games. It's fun yes. to them. Because like I said, women like emotional variety. They get bored with the same thing. So what do women do? They just create these things that these ways to make life interesting for them. Even if it's that your despair, they create these situations to you know, to, to disrupt some things Big facts. just to make life fun for themselves. Big facts. Yo, it's not us, guys. It's yeah, them. Yeah, they get bored so quickly. Now, you have a few men, of course, like the players and yes. stuff like that who who understand the game and they kind of messing up for women and stuff like that. But for, for the most part, it's the women, yeah. y'all. The modern day women. Yeah. Not all women. No. You know what I'm saying? It's the modern day women. And for some reason, that's, that's the majority of women that, that we actually have out here to choose. I'm thank, thankful. I'm married to a woman of God who... Who who just loves to really? She's the total opposite of that, and I'm I'm thankful to God. But I prayed for that for years, you know. So, you know, I thank God for giving me that. For you guys, y'all need to pray yes. too. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's what you got right there. That female is the type of female you Facts. got. But pray, y'all can get a good woman. That is okay. so true. That is so true, man. Like. If I did not learn, because I was literally the same way. I was so naive about everything. I was super naive about how I approach things, how I go about things. Everything. Everything I was super weird about. But then once I learned, and it's kind of crazy, it's weird to say, but yes, once I learned, I read and the psychology part of it and understand it a little bit more and be able to like, articulate my words properly are able to you know stand firm you know look a little bit more confidence and say the right thing everything clicked everything clicked i'm not the, come on man like i'm not the most like attractive man in the world but like i have enough confidence on myself and my look and my game so i'll say that for a fact like it is fact but that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button. It really helps me out a lot. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.